The midterm elections are just three days away and both parties are trying to make sure voters turn out to the polls in large numbers. CBS News correspondent Kenneth Craig is tracking moves on both sides of the aisle. President Trump was back in Florida for another rally Saturday night. This is my home also. Great state. Earlier in the day, Mr. Trump was in Montana, campaigning on behalf of Matt Rosendale, who is challenging incumbent Senator John Tester. This election will decide whether we build on the extraordinary prosperity that we've achieved or whether we let the radical Democrats take control of Congress. The president says he blames Tester for blocking the nomination of Dr. Ronnie Jackson for Secretary of Veterans Affairs. He tried to destroy him. And I've never forgotten it. The president says a vote for Democrats means weak borders. The Democrats want to invite caravan after caravan of illegal aliens to flood into your communities. Democrats called on their biggest star, President Obama, to counterattack Mr. Trump. Suddenly they are telling you that the biggest threat to America, the biggest threat is some impoverished refugees a thousand miles away. Former President Obama campaigned for gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams in Atlanta Friday. Obama says the current administration is taking credit for his progressive agenda. When the Republicans start talking now about how, oh, look how great the economy is. Where did you think that started? They didn't start that. Abrams could become the first African-American governor in Georgia. Kenneth Craig for CBS3 Eyewitness News.